Peace YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Um, this is a video response to my brother Dawa Alamin. Um, I feel the brother. I feel that he meant well. Um, but a lot of things you said, man, you need to you have to look into. You know, um, a lot of your uh, predictions about the Bible and stuff. Um, one point you have to understand, brother Dawa Alamin that the Torah is, the, the Quran says the Torah is Islam. I mean, if you're following the Torah, that, that is Islam. That's, it's like the same. It's the same thing. But you have to interpret it correctly. Okay? Um, the, the Hebrew Israelites, you tell them to come to Islam, um, and they're thinking in their mind, they're going to have to throw away the Bible. No. The Quran never says throw away the Bible. The Quran tells the Muslims to read the to read the earlier scriptures. Not only the Bible, but the lost scriptures also. We have the Book of Jubilee, we have the Book of Enoch. We have a lot of lost scriptures that we're not even talking about. But you have to read it correctly. Because the Quran is the balance. You take the Quran and you can weed through all of the misconceptions um, inside the Bible in certain areas. Um, so, when you tell people to come to Islam, you're telling people that they they have they have Islam. Islam is in the Bible, but they need to accept all of God's messengers, including Muhammad. And um, one point you one point I want to make: Ishmael was black. Okay, Ishmael was black. Those Arab, those pale Arabs over there in the Middle East, they're not Ishmaelites. All right, they might have a little Ishmaelite. Some of them might have some blood of Ishmael, but they're not Ishmaelites. Ishmael was black. The Israelites were black. Point one. Okay. So, it's a lot of things we gotta clean up. I'm gonna make some videos cleaning up everything. I wanna show you guys where the Ishmaelites are today. Where the Israelites are today, you probably already know that. And it's just, <laughs> we're being miseducated and we're divided. When actually the Quran and the Bible says the same thing. Most of the Bible says the same thing. If you weed out certain things. So, this is my little rant. I think the brother, he has a good heart. Um, my beliefs, um, I am a... I don't want to say that, but I mean, I want to, hey, I want us to start a, um, start a movement, start a movement, yeah, I believe in all the scriptures, that's what the, that's what the Quran says, true believers believe in all of God's scriptures, every single one of them, and they don't contradict each other if you read it correctly and interpret it correctly, um, you have, we have beef on one side, Beef on the other side, Hebrews versus Muslims, when it shouldn't be like that at all. Um, when both sides, both sides are wrong. And I will show you and prove to you in a later video how both sides are wrong. And both sides have a little bit of truth. You have truth on both sides. It's just their interpretation. They're getting their information from the enemy. The Hebrew Israelites, they're getting the information from the Jew, the, the pale Jews and the Christians. And they don't know what they're talking about because it's not their book. And the Muslims are getting it from the pale Arabs, getting their information from pale Arabs. And now we have all this confusion. So we have to stop and interpret the scriptures the way we're supposed to interpret the scriptures. Based off our ancestors and what they wrote to us. Not based off interpretation from outside people. They really didn't have anything to do with it. That's the problem. That's what's going on. Hebrew Israelites are whitewashed. Muslims are whitewashed also. So we got to throw all of that out of the side of our head. We got to start interpreting the scriptures the way it was originally supposed to be interpreted. So that's all I want to say right now. I will bring out more videos. I can't wait. I want to teach. I want to start a movement. All right. I want to start a movement. I'm going to bring Muslims and Israelites together, and I have a plan, 
and I could clear up a lot of these misconceptions that's going on. So let's start a movement. Let's come back to the to the Creator, the Most High. Let's figure out his, his real name, and let's call upon him, and let's come together, stop the confusion, stop the sex, and let's um let's get our covenant back. Nick, okay, um, peace YouTube. See you later. Catch you on that ten.